Hi, this is Matt from AppWorks. In today's video, we're going to talk about FileMaker's interesting ability to draw a window off screen or invisible. It's uh, an interesting idea, and here's how it works. So, basically, let's say we had a situation where we wanted to like loop through some invoices and set something. What I used to do often as a developer is this method where I would create a window, but the location of the window is a negative number. So the position from top and from left was actually over or off to the side. And if you do it correctly and there's no monitor over there, then the window would be invisible. So this was pretty useful for any kind of a process where we wanted to have something happen, but we didn't want to have uh, users be able to see it. Nowadays, I think we would just change layouts. It would be more uh, efficient or maybe do a perform script on server. But in a lot of uh, older solutions, you'll see this technique being used. So you'll notice in this script, after I do my action, I forgot to actually put a close window command in here. And I didn't notice it because when it finished, I didn't see anything happen. So for example, if I run that script, it'll loop through these uh, invoices and set two of them as overdue because they have dates in the past uh, farther than a month ago when the invoice was due. But I can't see the window. So how do I see the window? A, how do I close it? B, and extra credit, how do you close all of them? So for one, you can see the windows will pop up in the window menu in FileMaker. Sometimes they could be hidden as well, so they'll be in the show window. And you can actually close it by just clicking on it and hitting Command W or Control W. So if I do that on a few, you'll see the, the number of them goes down. And now I just have a couple of them left. But there's another way you can do this, which is you can have a script that looks through all of your windows. <clears throat> so it uses, the, it uses the command in FileMaker to uh, the window names command. And I'm using the current database file name and it gives you a list of all of the windows. So for example, if I wanted to close all the windows except the main database that I'm in, this would allow me to do that. So it just gets a list of them all, uh, grabs the first window name, checks to see if that's the window that I'm actually, is my current window, and if it's not, closes it, and does that in a loop. And so if I run this script, what will happen is um, all the windows that used to be open for test are now closed. So it's a pretty interesting technique. Um, I hope you find these videos useful. Thanks very much for your time today.